Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we were trying to fulfil a lot of the prisoners' needs a lot better than we had done previously because, well, there was a lot of rioting, and to be fair, a lot of it was sort of just. Um, with the uh, things like the common room not being built and having like a lot of the other needs like spirituality and stuff just completely ignored, it was a bit of an issue. But as you can see, a lot of people are now going to work inside the shop and inside like the library and things like that, so hopefully, or oh, as well as... Um, as well as the uh, the mail room as well. So hopefully we'll get a lot of these needs fulfilled. If we take a look at these, we can see that um, there's very few of them that are critical. If there is, it's under five, which is quite good. The ones that are of sort of note is literature and spirituality. Literature should slowly go down as we get the um, the library books uh, dispensed. In fact, you see people are now going away with luxuries as well. So hopefully that'll go down. Although some of that luxury, I believe, is stuff that's like flung over the walls, which, um, well, can't happen here because we don't have a boat coming along and dropping stuff off. Anyway, we need to make a couple of changes. First things first, go over to reports, we'll go over to regime, and we're going to change it so that we have an extra hour of shower in the morning, simply because by the time a lot of these prisons get there, um, it's almost to the end, so it's best if we do that. And um, even if you don't have it as shower, even if you have it as free time, they don't then go, well, I need a shower, I'm just going to have it while I'm here. They'll sort of just tend to walk off, and it's just a bit more of a hassle. Also, we did have an issue over here where we got these protective custody prisoners and they weren't walking out. And as people rightly pointed out, it was due to deployment. At the moment, if I set them to not be um, in and around here, what will happen is they'll sort of wander off and just go their own way, which is uh, not good. What we need to do is really allow them so that they are not set to a permanent lockdown and they can go into the canteen in this common room and in and around here but also that they don't leave and the way there's a couple of ways to do that we could either go for staff only there which would make it so that they can't leave this area although we have seen that sort of break in the past where they've been escorted through to like visitation and stuff so that's probably not the way forward also i do want that uh, to be sort of open to everybody so we can uh, talk to prisoners and the confidential informants so instead what we'll do is we'll set this to uh, max sec um, along the entire facility like so and that's probably the better way of doing it including the visitation there and maybe not the infirmary and the psychologist office actually the psychologist office yes but not the infirmary just in case and that should do um, what we also want to do is set that to staff only because well it isn't and then that means that if I go over to here and then to end punishment and then also end punishment they will leave and be able to go in this common room and there you go they are now uh, working out so at least that's going which is fine we do have some intake, um, which is two max sec prisoners in the next 14 hours, and we're making 157 generic units of currency per day. My original plan was to maybe get a bit of this up and running, which is going to be our workshop. However, the problem with that is even though that the each individual component in this workshop, um, how much is it uh, for the workshop? It would be uh, 1,500 for the press and 1,500 for the saw. So it's three grand just to get sort of each stage of it in minimum we also need to connect it up to this power plant which currently doesn't exist so that's another five grand plus your capacitors plus the building by the time we've got a couple of presses and other things in we'll be almost bankrupt so what i'm going to do is build this bottom bit here and then it means that we can pretty much just crack on and um, get some more prisoners and then that'll give us a better intake so i'm going to go over to probably quick build actually and cloning because i believe this is a straight clone job from what i can tell so we'll clone it from say there and that should be about right so that's cloned it there quite well and then if i click there it should be correct uh, it does look like that's the case and Yes, that looks to be about right, and hopefully I've went ahead and put all the utilities in, which is right as well. Excellent. So, that's taken us down to a total of a grand, but by the time we get all this done, obviously, we should be able to uh, get a lot more prisoners, which means our daily cash flow will be increased. It looks like it's eat time, so all the prisoners are going straight towards here, which is fine. Um, this, uh, I just saw that guard there use the keys on the on the door there, even though it's got a door server. I guess it is... Uh, technically quicker um, we do have some ah this is a problem you can see that this serving table is not being filled by this kitchen now let's have a quick look at that um, oh I can't because I don't have micromanagement so I can't see where this food is being delivered to that means that both of these characters will probably be quite hungry which is not great what I need to do then 
is get micromanagement and set it so that this kitchen will feed uh, this canteen. Although, I would have assumed that it probably would have worked. I mean, you can see there's a food tray there and a food tray. Uh, there was one down there. There are two food trays. So they have been fed. They have been fed. It's just... Um, I don't know, it's not, it's not like, uh, there's no empty stuff there. Anyway, well, yeah, look, the staff are coming along to, to do that. Anyway, we're going to do a shakedown tonight because I think that would be um, of some benefit. Most of the prisoners are asleep. Um, shakedowns um, generally better for when you, well, need to do them, as in there's a, there's a need for, like, um, looking for tunnels and stuff, whereas we really don't, uh, we really don't recognise that as a big problem these days, being on this island. Anyway, so it's still free time. See, most of the prisoners are still sleeping, even though we got free time there. A lot of the prisoners are still sleeping. I just realised that uh, Sean Piddick there was reading a book, which is good. So that's some literature needs getting fulfilled. Let's go over to Intelligence and Informants. And while everybody's asleep, it's actually easier to quickly go across and see if there are any traits that we should be concerned with. Obviously, things like extremely tough and strong are of concern, but they're not necessarily a danger of uh, getting attacked. That volatile and scared gang member, Ainsley, they're a problem. Um, and deadly, there was a couple of problems there as well. But there's no, as far as I can tell, oh, we've got a confidential informant there and a confidential informant there. We've got no, um, we've got, well, we've only got one or two unknown traits. I wonder if I can, it's strange, we've got a gang member there. Uh, I wonder if we can activate Sean Piddock and see if we can uh, have a little chat with him. So I've activated them there, and they are now going to be escorted over to the security area, and they're going to get, I was going to say interrogated, but it's more question about what the deal is so we'll pause it there while they are um, having a little chat and we go over to informants we can see that um, they're getting taught a little bit of a chat there and we can see that currently they're not pointing towards these being a target which is normally what it is and we're not getting anything from these two about uh, these two being uh, well, the traits haven't been shared, which is interesting. Anyway, the, to be fair, they only have a th he only has a twenty three percent coverage, so maybe um, they're not aware of anything like that. Anyway, so that's um, that's on the go there. We can probably uh, knock that off. Hang on, intelligence informants, and okay then. So we currently have a fire in the kitchen, which is not good. I'm going to deactivate that person there so they can go back to their cells, and we can see the fire has started in the kitchen. So. We do have the sprinkler, which is uh, wa watering everywhere. The problem is that the fire is actually spread through the wall already. So regardless of what needs to happen here, we do need to call in some emergency services. So we're going to go for a fire engine, and we shouldn't need more than the one, because that sprinkler there, um, and that one there, that should be, yeah, that is actually containing most of the fire in the kitchen uh, so that's good it's just the canteen that's currently under a bit of threat but that's pretty good to see that that is um disseminating water is that the is that the term anyway it is uh yeah happily uh fixing that that's not a problem but uh, this is definitely on fire so we're going to bring in the uh the the fire now the fireman and they should be able to put that out and the firefighters have taken really quick care of that it's pretty good so we'll just put that wall back on and then say thank you very much for your service um bye bye so that didn't take too long um serving table is repaired a couple of other things repaired there but none of the cook is damaged none of the uh, utilities uh, our utility connections has been damaged um which is hang on uh, was this the connection uh, let me just check no that was something that we got rid of no, that was correct there. That's right. This one, we got rid of the connection because we wanted these to be always, pow always powered up on this line. This one just powers the remainder of that. That's fine. Okay, there we are. So um, that wasn't too much of a hassle. So a bit of thought thought there. Uh, with the sprinklers has sorted us out. I would not recommend putting them where the power station and capacitors are, though, because that doesn't tend to go overly well. <laughs> right. Let's do a shakedown. So... Today's beverage is coffee black, no sugar. Um, we've got a lot of guards to search with, so let's see if we can find anything. So far, not a lot of contraband. Um, I don't expect a lot of it because none can, nothing can be thrown over the wall. Um, because, as I said, they don't have a boat or a miniature submarine or a drone or stuff to fly, to fly anything in. Um, nothing can be... Uh, brought into the visitation and uh, passed through from the visitor to prisoner. 
and we have a metal detector on here so anything that's brought through into the kitchen and snuck out we will detect with the metal detectors there metal detectors there and we've also got some um, some dog handlers that's smelling around as well that um, can get anything smelly so so far we're almost finished but we found one knife one pair of scissors one bottle of booze and one screwdriver if we go over to our stolen from we can see that uh, where are these things uh, is the last 24 hours last 24 hours so it's not actually showing a lot of these up no pretty much useless although you can see there is a supply of weapons and tools so I don't know where they are we've just apparently searched everything but hmm have we uh, anyway let's go over to gangs we can see that we do still have um, some gang members no lieutenants or leaders and there's three of each colored gang member so not enough to even take anything over just yet so this is the next morning's regime where we will have apparently some tasering hmm um, and we've got a lot of people now heading towards the shower see these ones at the back here have only just got to the shower and it's halfway through the, uh, the regime there and wow what on earth's happened there ah Dean Severine McCabe they've kicked off for some reason and been killed by guards for being a cop killer why have they kicked off they've started attacking that shower head they were being suppressed for the most of this punishment is high reform law security high health minimal so I don't know why they've started fighting this guy's got a lot of needs you can see privacy exercise all that sort of thing but there's nothing like to indicate why that person would start fighting right well that was a trait that we were worried about but I didn't expect it to uh, I didn't expect them to fight in the first place so and being cop killer and fearless it means that he's not going to stop and the guards are not going to stop and there's more guards and they've got more equipment so yeah um, so this prisoner here um, you can see will be able to eat because there is definitely food there so I don't need to unlock um, I don't need to unlock the extra stuff for uh, micromanagement but we can see now we've got some more intake so we'll go over to informants and we have a lot of traits actually tough gang member tough we've got um, quite a number of traits here I'll wait for them to stream in stalker there's some unknown traits unknown tough stalker fearless there's a one there that's uh, strong stalker fearless and expert fighter um, yeah that's Tom Lawrence prison number 471584 and in terms of gang members yeah we do have some gang members it looks like green has got two new members but there's nothing again traits wise at the moment anyway that are uh, of sort of danger to us so we've got 12 grand now and luckily we now got a two grand per day to uh, to play with which is good so that's more than enough for us to continue building the question is do we why is the danger level going up that is the question let's go over to needs and we can see that there is um, some critical exercise needs but I'm guessing most of that will be fulfilled shortly there's some family needs there but that is getting fulfilled because they are talking um, on the phone booth uh, they're in the phone booth so they can talk to uh, family members there it's gonna go to uh, free time shortly so uh, work slash free time rather uh, and that will crack on there so there's a couple of ways we can go here we can either go for reform uh, and increase our reform currently we don't have any grading because only one prison has been released we do have some programs up and running mainly parole hearing and the spiritual guidance there um gad test certification we can stop that now and we've got things like behavioral therapy that is of very high demand we've got a bit for the pharmacological treatment of drug addiction and alcoholics group uh, and workshop safety induction we do have five so I think that's where we focus on really and it means that we'll pro be producing the license plate so hopefully that'll be all okay so utilities and you can see we've preemptively put this uh, this connection in so it means just we need to place a uh, foundation a building concrete and then we will place this building in like so it will require an entrance because it's going on to the outside of the existing building if it was onto a foundation obviously it would just connect right up we will go for a staff door in and around uh, not that it really matters we'll sit in and around there that should be fine and then i think we'll be all right this thing is only powering that so there's no real need to change this to um, anything else nor is it really any need 
and you great need to have like different connections. Apparently there's a tunnel found there. If there is, then the person digging the tunnel is, shall we say, directionally challenged. Where's that fighting here? Some tasers kick, uh, being used there. It's kicking off a bit. Anyway. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to... Oh, now what? Uh, one of the spiritual leaders we bring in for our religious programs has been riling up the inmates with all kinds of hate, hateful speech. They've been fired, but the prisoner will take some time to cool down. Hmm. I wonder what sort of hateful speech that would be. Either way, there's uh, going to be a danger level increase here. A lot of prisoners also saying they've been unnecessarily searched recently. Right, okay. I think there's something funky going on here. No reputation and no unknown reputations either. It could be because of the spiritual guidance, Riley, because he's just recently passed that. Reform program history, spiritual guidance. Could be he's been riled up because of that. It could be that. It it is it is a possibility. Um not entirely sure, but yeah. Anyway, let's go over to rooms and to uh, workshop, and we will place this as a workshop. Does that does that just say I could place a workshop outside there? I'm pretty sure it did. Um, yes, you can place workshops outside still. Okay, so that is now put in. In terms of utilities, we will place our power generator there, and a capacitor in there, 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 and that should probably do us. Um, and that'll power all of this up. The problem is that we now have a workshop which will be essentially, uh, uh, well, from the prisoner's point of view, open for business when it comes to nicking things. Um, <laughs> let's go for staff only there at the back. Um, and there's all these little extra bits. Uh, oh, is that because we had the fire? I think it is. And this little bit there is actually a wall. So I don't know why that is not set to... Staff only. Anyway. So, yeah. This is now open for business. It obviously doesn't function because it doesn't have the things in it that uh, is required. But we will go ahead and place some of these. So we need tables. So we'll place table there, table there. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on the top. But um, I'm not too sure whether or not we'll go ahead and place them all in just yet. We'll probably go for... This was a one, two, three. Or we're going to place one... We could place three in a row, although it might have changed since I last played it. You might only be able to place... Um, you might only be able to place them... You might have to place them with a gap in between them. Let's connect up that door servo. So at least they can go ahead and place that. So we've got not enough money at the moment to sadly... Uh, there's some more fighting there. Matt Kelly. Oh, well, at least they were right next door to the infirmary, so they've got that going for them. Uh, that's handy, at least. That's fortuitous. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether we place these things right next to each other. So, like a workshop saw, 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 and or saw, press, saw, etc. I don't know whether you have to have a gap. Um, it might be worth just having a gap. Having one there and one there. Or maybe next to each other like that, because then we'll fit a lot more in. Tell you what, we'll place a saw there, and then we'll place the press down below. With it being, obviously, the map that we're on, we can't expand. There's nothing that we can do to expand on here. There are little bits, like, around here that if we wanted to put a small building in, then we could. But there's certainly not going to be a massive expansion of the facility to add, like, a Death Ruin or Supermax or anything like that. It's just not going to happen. So... Spiritual Guidance still on the go there, and also this place getting cleaned, which is good. Um, the problem with having... If I just go over to our regime here. The problem with having three hours, then lock up, and then three hours is that... Essentially, uh, a lot of these programs, you might notice, says um, two sessions, 100 hours per session. But I think the sessions can be, can be two hours, so it's best to have... a a block of four and then a block of two rather than two blocks of three because the game tends to uh, not like that so much. So I might go ahead and change that. Um, do we have maybe lockdown like... Oops, close that. Lockdown like that. 
and then work slash free time there. So we've still got the same amount of work slash free time. Um, it's just we don't have, uh, yeah, we don't have the other stuff. Hmm. Okay. Well, once, now that everything's settled down, I see I was originally going to do the uh, inmate nutritional research, but because of uh, the issues that we've had, I didn't want to go ahead and do that. But now that this is, uh, these, me these meals are being served, I'm going to go over to um, our policy. We're going to change this meal quantity low, meal variety to low. It has to be low. I've set it to none before. and it, No, it definitely says serve a single high quantity, high variety meal. So once this um, is almost finished, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just so I remember, even though I probably won't, I'll say um, work free time. And then I think people have finished anyway, work free time. So that'll start counting this down now. So uh, that's going to be serve single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. So we've got one set of eat there, one, one block of that. And in terms of our policy, it's low variety and low quantity. So that's now going to start counting up there. So we'll wait for a full day on that one. The needs are fairly okay. No unnecessary, well, 12 unnecessary searches, uh, six arm guards on there in service, which is affecting the prison in a lot of ways obviously we've got a lot of suppression there uh, 64 prisoners in fact are suppressed but if we go over to programs yeah there's a not a lot of people interested because they're too busy worrying about the armed guards which is just the nature of the beast i guess so anyway we're going to get uh, no prisoners arriving today i'm just having a quick look around and once again there are some traits that we can see there i wonder if i activate uh jeffrey uh, whether or not we can find anything out. He only has a coverage of 28%, but I'm hoping that... Oh, it's kicking off over here. That is Volatile and Gang Member, so I guess that's why that's happened. And we've got some runouts. We've got one running there and one running there. They are probably not going to get that far. Um, actually, I say running out. They're just going about their daily business. It is open, so they're just having a shower. It's currently free time, so there's no reason why they can't do that. In terms of the informants, uh, they're activated and <coughs> sneeze. Uh, and we've got oh, this telling us about something stashed. It's got a needle stashed in the bacon and no other traits as far as I can tell. Okay. Uh, and they're telling us about some stash around here. So, yeah. He is telling us some useful things. Uh, we just got a nice 900 shop sale commission, which is pretty good. And that's give us enough to get, finally, a workshop press there. So we're going to probably go um, source press, source press, source press. Uh, and that'll probably be the way forward. The issue is that if we don't have this gap, uh, there's only going to be tables on the top and bottom. So moving them from one to the other is going to be a bit of a bit of a mess on. Anyway, I think we will happily send them back to their cells thank you very much hopefully nobody saw them wander out <laughs> we are not going to be doing a shakedown i'm just going to double uh, double check the deployment here so everything that needs to be set to staff only is the infirmary i haven't set to staff only but access only just because if uh, these need to be healed then i think they can be escorted if they get knocked out i think they can be escorted through this um security I really did want as shared um, because it means that this uh, these can be um, nah, there's no point though there's no point I was gonna say security would be best as shared because it means that this person then we can if they were a confidential informant we can talk them but the chances are they're never gonna kick off because they've got most of their needs fulfilled anyway they don't leave so even if uh, they were a confidential informant they're never gonna have very good coverage so yeah there's no real issue yeah there's no real point there um so this is still waiting for connections i am gonna connect it up like so just for the time being and then what i'll do is i will pause it for a moment i'm gonna go for workshop safety induction no, i'm not i'm actually i'm gonna go back over to regime i'm gonna change this to free time and the reason for that is if i put this stuff in now and reschedule it uh, it might put it in this time here for the eat where we're going to replace the eat time and uh, i really don't want that so having it like that is a bit better we'll go back over to policy uh sorry programs we're going to fire up the workshop safety induction and reschedule all programs while it's in the middle of the night we don't need to fire up anything else we've got foundation education program on there um 
I guess we can start that. And pharmacological treatment of drug addiction, probably don't need to do that. Alcohol group, probably not as well. So that should be about it. So there's only one person interested in the foundation, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, hopefully if we get one or two people through, it might start to... Uh, increase but it's it's due to the prevalence of armed guards really but anyway we will leave it there for this episode not a bad one we got uh, decent progress with uh, building in and around here we got some more prisoners we've also got obviously the workshop in there as well and some more people fighting shame about the a fire b whoa hang on is it all kicking off right it's all kicking off let's have a quick look we've got um, those kicking off those kicking off so we got a total of one, two, three, four people fighting, and um, that person's actually got a baton, so um, looks like we've got guards coming along there, and oh, we've got some more people fighting. I guess there's instigations here. Yeah, there's a couple of instigators, so um, that's what's happened there. Whoa, see that dog charge along? That was no stopping that dog. Look at the speed of that dog. It's on normal speed as well. I don't know why the dog's so quick. <laughs> Good grief. Anyway, that's... Um, that's happened. So we will leave it there. Next episode, we will crack on, see if we can get the inmate nutritional research done. And um, I very much doubt we'll get uh, 30 license, place, uh, license plates produced, but at least, you know, we can start on that one. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.